Hey guys, Ludium here and welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom loot tables. Sorry, that might be that that's cut off. Let me see if I could temporarily show you. There we go. This is episode 17 and um, before I start this video, I wanted to apologize for the insane lag. I had to reinstall OBS, which I used to record my full screen rather than just my normal videos. Um, so as you can tell, all my settings are messed up. I tried setting them so that they weren't laggy, but as you can tell, there's like screen tearing and everything's messing up. But that shouldn't uh, hopefully bother us doing the video because it's just the simple process that's important. Um, so thank you, of course, for 499 subscribers. At least that's what's added as I'm recording this video. So there's an extremely high chance that by the time I have ended the recording of this video, I will have hit or I mean not the end of the recording of this video, there's an extremely high chance that by the time this comes out like three days after it's recorded, uh, I will go ahead and have 500 subscribers. And if so, of course, thank you for that. If not, still thank you for 499 subscribers. Uh, of course, thanks to you. Uh, before I continue on, last thing, thank you to Shadowrun Patreon for supporting me and helping me stay um, up and fund my server. Uh, if you want to go ahead and help support me, click the link in the description down below. All right, so custom loot tables. Custom loot tables are basically things that allow you to um, to generate like custom or like automatically generate certain chests, for example, or have mobs drop certain things automatically. So in order to use this, first off, let me close out of Minecraft here, um, and then let's open our display capture here. Okay. So first off, yeah, it was Spartan Spark who asked me to make the loot tables, uh, and as always, that's a reminder. You could ask me for uh, for certain videos, and I will be happy to make them. There you go. Um, all right. So, loot tables um, are a pain to create by hand. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use a tool. Um, using this, you could sort of kind of figure out how to create your own manually, but that's just an absolute pain. So um, we're just going to do this for now. Okay. So there are first off a couple of types of loot tables, and I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. If not, you could see. It is minecraft.tools slash en slash loot.php. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to type first off. And you get to choose, you know, different types of loot tables. So in this case, we're going to choose first off a chest loot table. Um, and in terms of name, you could go ahead and name it something custom. We're going to name it um, uh, video underscore container. Okay. Um, now that we've done that, uh, this is the global quantity, which is basically the item number to the number of items to choose, uh, if, as far as I understand. It's really weird. And then based on luck points, because, you know, there's the whole luck enchantment, you could have certain amount or sorry, yeah, global quantity is the range of items you could have. So we're going to have up to 27 items. I don't know why that's the max. And then luck basically will say, you know what, every point of luck you have gives you one more item. Uh, in terms of items, you know, if I click here, there are a bunch of different items and you could add multiple different types of items. So first off, we're going to add a diamond block or, or yeah, block of diamond. There we go. Uh, and we'll give it a weight of one. So, you know, it's right now the most likely <laughs> because it's the only item, uh, in terms of count, um, let's see. This is in order to choose if you want a certain amount. We're going to choose uh, up to seven. And of course, you could add conditions. So you could, for example, give a certain percentage uh, chance. We're, just, we're not going to set that, though. Um, you could also go ahead and require a certain amount of experience points to enchant it uh, or give it enchantments. So for example, and of course, by the way, I know there's a lot of spelling errors on this. I didn't create it. Uh, and nor am I affiliated with it. Um, we could say have the diamond block have mending on it, but we don't need that because that makes zero sense. Okay. And we'll just keep that. We'll add one more thing, which is, let's just go through here. You know, let me grab a command block. I believe we could do that. Let's do a repeating command block. Um, we'll go to more options here. I don't know if this will work. We'll go ahead and try and enchant it with, um, <laughs> let's try and choose something really stupid. Let's choose, um, uh, lure. <laughs> Even though, of course, that makes zero sense. Um, and of course, I can make it a percentage chance, but I want to make sure that it works. And then in terms of count, I'll make between 1 and 27. I thought was by the way completely random. I did not mean to make these as the same numbers up there. And we'll make it so that there's like a 78% chance that, that you'll get it. Okay. 
um, NBT tags if you want to add custom NBT, which is a bit more complicated, but we're not going to do that. And then um, that appears to be good. So now we've created ourselves a, a loot table. Now, interestingly, I put this under a command block tutorial, but th this isn't vert 100% uh, related to command blocks because you're going to actually need to go ahead and like put this inside of um, of a specific like uh, folder, and it's really weird. But anyways, what you're going to want to do is click generate your loots table, and you notice it gives me this this string right here. So then you click on the click here button, um, and I'm going to save it uh, in a certain location in just a second here. So now that I've downloaded it, you know, it says to say, download it to dot minecraft slash save slash slash data slash loot tables slash mc tools slash chests. Uh, mc tools, by the way, I don't think is required. Uh, you know, if I go over to the Minecraft wiki here, uh, it doesn't show me the. Ex oh yeah, it just basically um, create a folder called anything, but. Um, or I believe, yeah, you just do loot tables and then you could do whatever, but, um, we'll do it the exact way it wants it because I don't want to break something. Move over to the file explorer here. So we have some instructions as to what to do. And of course, if you're wondering why there's something blacked out, that's because, uh, that's my name. <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to go over here and I, in order to get here, I typed in, uh, to the address bar percent app data percent. Then I clicked on dot .minecraft, and then saves. <laughs> then 1.11 command block tutorial. Wow, that's a lot of different uh, files. And then you're going to go to data. And you notice we don't have anything here yet, so in terms of folders at least. So I'm going to create a new folder called loot underscore tables. Then within that, we're going to create one... Uh, called mc underscore tools or sorry just mc tools oops not create a shortcut that's not what we wanted to do uh new folder mc tools um create another new folder called chests just for organization's sake uh and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag that file we just downloaded which is a text file as you could tell here if i uh open that up like so it's just a basic text file um, let me hide that again. Um, and we're going to go ahead here and, um, now, now we've had that put in there. So our next step of course is to integrate it in the game. Um, and the process will be by the way, the same for pretty much any type of loot table you have, but I have to relaunch my game. So I'm going to probably do a quick cut here in just a second. Here we are. There we go. Okay. So now we're in the game. I'm going to head over to here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead here and in chat, I'm going, or actually no, we're in a command block because it makes it easier to see. I'm going to paste in the example command that it shows um, in order to just kind of show you what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to give myself a command block. All right, and what it recommends doing essentially here is this command, uh, just like so. So, in order to ever use a loot table with a chest, you do give at p, or really set block, you know, um, I'll, I'll show you set block in just a minute, uh, chest one zero, uh, and of course that's like basically telling it, give me one chest with no extra data tags, then it pasted in this little thing here, and this is what enables loot table. So let's dissect this. So, first off, we have block entity tag. This is just basically saying, so take the block and add a little tag onto it. And then within another bit of uh, stuff here, we have a thing that says loot table colon. Um, and then we have MC tools colon chest because we made that folder called MC tools. They made another folder within that called chests. Now within the chest folder, so we have a backslash now because we're telling it this is the actual thing. Um, we have video underscore container, which is what we named it, if you remember that. Um, so now, if I go ahead here, grab myself a button, and again, I really apologize for the lag here. Bam, we have a chest. And when I open this chest, you'll notice it went ahead and generated all the diamond blocks and, um, and command blocks. So what I'm going to do here, first off, is I'm going to test, off, test if everyone's the same. Well, no, you'll notice it's not the same. These are actually completely different chests uh, with different levels of lure. 
uh, and they were all, or for the command blocks at least, and they were all um, created from one block that I placed down. That is the magic of loot tables. As to why I can't pick any of these items up, I would attribute that to lag, by the way. Um, but the point is, you could use this for a lot of custom stuff. Um, so let me go ahead, by the way, and now use this for set block. Um, because set block is the really cool one, I think, um, that you could use because uh, that... But this will supposed to be used for survival games. Um, I think that's one of the coolest uses for it. Um, anyways, what I'm going to do is set block um, the block above it. And then I'm going to actually set it to repeating in, uh, and always active. If I did this right, there we go, we should have a block there. And you notice every time I open it, it just glitches out because it's constantly running. So in that case, let me turn that off to needs redstone mode. And let's see if I press that, maybe. It's not working. Okay, so apparently set block doesn't work with that. Um, that's good to know. If I look at the set block command syntax, um, set block, blo uh, place block, data value, old block handling, and then data tag. So I'm not sure why that doesn't work. Apparently it only works with the give command. Um, so in that case, just use it with give. But it's one of those weird things where you wonder why why it doesn't work correctly, but it doesn't. Okay, but there's that anyways. Um, and so that is how that works. If I were, for example, to be doing one with an entity, it would give me an example command to use as well, but it would likely be something like this. It would be summon, um, and let me take a look again for the syntax for the summon command, uh, and also make this uh, big so you could see. So I would do summon an entity name, so say for example, zombie, right? Um, as location, and then it would be something like um, block entity tag colon uh, you know loot table colon quote mc tools you know entities and then um or actually yeah something like that and then entities and then or actually i'm doing it wrong entities colon entities backslash you know um example underscore container and then a double closing bracket and that would be basically how that would work but of course that loot table doesn't exist and also looks like I'm in peaceful mode so that that would explain that um one sec my file explorer is giving me an if I don't know what it's saying anyways um I believe that should do it for this video. If you want, of course, to see any more advanced things, it doesn't even have to be command block related. It could just be, you know, technical Minecraft stuff or even another game. If I could possibly run that game on my computer, let me know, of course, in the description or in the comment section below. Um, once again, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.